Hi everyone, welcome to my channel ICT Active Learners. Today I am here to present Cambridge IGCSC ICT 2023 May June Paper 4 Presentation Part. You are going to create a short presentation. Our slide must have a consistent layout and formatting. Create a PowerPoint presentation for six slides using the file J2321 scratch.rtf. So we will open PowerPoint. Then we'll click on other presentations, browse. We'll go to desktop. We'll go to the files. Every file there, all the files and J2321 scratch.rtf. So it has six slides. Now use a master slide to display only the following features. So we will just click here, view, master slide view, and then we'll go to the top slide. As we are in the top at the top slide right now, so what we need to do is an automated slide number on the top right. So slide number should be on the top right. Just here. So we will just simply uh, click on insert header and footer and we will click on slide number available. Then after your name, send a number and candidate number on the bottom left. So in the footer bottom left your name then your center number then your candidate number and then after that's all we will just click on apply all the slides and this one should go to the left bottom so we don't need the date we will move this one to the left bottom just like that and then a three to four point wide horizontal line about three centimeters from the bottom of the slide above your details and across the full width of the slide so we will insert here a line and this line should be three centimeter as they mentioned we will go like this three centimeter exactly across the slide and then this one we will increase the width of it so as they mentioned the weight should be three point three to four so it can be three point I'm going to change it to the color of the shape is going to be black just like that or red then after master slide item appear in the same position every slide so we just click on view and normal view so everything is according to our requirement so format the first slide so that a title slide layout is applied with no bullets so let's go to the first and home layout title slide layout and then after uh, as they mentioned that the title and subtitle are center line at in the middle of the presentation slide so it is already in the middle and then after use the data in the j2321 winners.csv to create a pie chart so we will go to desktop and go to the files and we need to get the pie chart so the file name is winners so pie chart to compare the number of races win by each group so the number of races win by each group we'll just select them insert a pie chart so this is how it's going to be and then after label the chart with the percentage wins by group copy this 
and that's going to be our chart title and then after format the chart to display only group names and percentage as sector label so we will just click on the chart data labels and then we will just have the data labels and then after more options we can just have the categories name on the or we can just say something like that even so values will appear definitely and not something like this or we can just simply um, just show the legend line like this so that our all data or values from the cell even, yeah that's fine i guess and we don't need the legend we will remove them as they said do not display legend and display the percentage value to one decimal place so what we need to do is we need to display the value to one decimal place series one and everything is written here so we just click here and we remove from here the label what we need is only to have this data we don't need to have all the information all the eight groups and the other series as well just like that with the percentage value and it is in the form of percentage by the way the values so we can just simply delete this one as we don't need and what you can do is so you can just simply say here with more and we'll just go one more time to the options yeah and we'll select from here percentage so that's how it is and then after emphasize the group with the largest percentage by pulling only this sector away from the other groups so the largest sector is this one click one more time and extract it out of that location or out of that point just like that and then after next step is place the pie chart to the right of the bullet on the slide with the title scratch group cyclist so we'll just take this one from here we'll copy and we will just go to yeah this one we need to put this graph uh, to the uh, right side of the bullets so means we will just move them towards left and then we will paste the graph over here just like that so everything is fine with the graph now add the following text as the presenter speaker note to the slide with the title scratch group cyclist so scratch group cyclist the same slide so view we need to have the notes page and we will add here these as a notes page that's it and we need to print this slide so printing this slide we need to click on file print and then we will print this slide full page but with the notes page only this page that's it and then after only the slide with the title handicap format the text raise director so that when clicked it opens an email editor ready to send a message to this email so what we need to do is we need to go back to our slides and we will go to click on normal view we will select the handicap slide select this one and we will make this one a hyperlink to send an email and the email is going to be rd at cambridge.org and then with the subject line race handicaps so we'll just add it 
click on OK and that's it. And then after we need to place in your evidence document a screenshot showing the linked text, email address and subject line. So you can just simply right click and edit hyperlink and just take a screenshot of this part so that you can just include it into your evidence document as my evidence document is here in my folder and this is going to be evidence for step number 31 so we will go to that step and that's it and that's all from the presentation part and here is one thing last sorry print the full presentation as handouts in portrait with two sides per page so in this case you just click on file print and then two slides per page so there are a total three pages now with six slides that's what you need to print and that's all from the presentation part of this video hope you have learned about powerpoint presentations how to create the presentation and how to deal with them thanks for watching and please subscribe the channel for more videos and updates